Hello and welcome to our Twilio week, a whole week dedicated on integrating Twilio services with Backfrap. I'm Alex, the architect from Backfrap, and I'll guide you through on how to integrate and use Twilio from inside your Backfrap app. Twilio is a message sending platform. It allows you to send messages, and Backfrap already sends push notifications and emails, which is common for most users. But sometimes you need some more advanced features, such as sending uh, WhatsApp messages and other kinds of messages, and Twilio comes to help for that. The Twilio SDK is a built-in uh, add-on in the Backfrap stack. You can always check your uh, built-in modules, open up your Backfrap app, go into App Settings, Server Settings, Manage Parse Server, click Settings, and for every uh, version of Parse Server that we deploy, we deploy together a whole stack with it. And in here, all these modules, you can use its content without having to install the module yourself, which makes it really, really easy to uh, integrate to your code. So if you look, for instance, I'm using um, Parse 450, and in here you can find the uh, Twilio uh, SDK built in, which means I don't have to download and install it, I can just use it in my cloud code. I will also need a Twilio account, all I have to do is to go to Twilio.com and create a free account to you. It will give you a uh, few free credits that you can use for testing and you can send real messages using those credits. Once the uh, credits are uh, used, you have to buy new ones in order to keep operating. And from here, we're going to need two uh, pieces of information. The first one is the account SID which is this big number here. You can click here to copy it and you need that number to uh, uh, use Twilio from Backfrap. The second piece of information is the auth token, which uh, is a secret key that you can uh, show up by clicking this button here and copy it from uh, clicking this button here. You need both these values in order to instantiate the SDK from your Backfrap app, which means uh, you need access to this information. If you don't have it, you have to look around in your Twilio uh, dashboard. It will be there inside the very first screen and you need access to both. Back to Backfrap, in order to instantiate the Twilio SDK, you should go to Cloud Code, Functions and Web Hosting, and click the main.js file. In here you have a, a sample code because this is a new application, so I'm going to select it all and delete it. And then we can uh, start uh, instantiating our SDK. I'll do this here on the dashboard, but, but most of this week we will work locally because it's easier to debug. So all I have to do is to uh, type const client equals require and we're going to specify which module that we are requiring, in this case Twilio. And I'm going to open parentheses once again, and in here we are going to pass in the information that we have from the dashboard as two strings. So the first string is going to be the account SID that I'm going to copy from here, paste it in there, then a comma, then I'm going to add the second information, which is my auth token, then I'm going to copy it from here, and paste it in there. I can then put another comma and pass in some uh, options between brackets. For instance, I could use lazy loading, which accelerates uh, the load of my module. All I have to do is type lazy loading. It's true. This is in the JSON format. So right now, all I have to do is click deploy. This takes a couple of seconds, and now my Twilio uh, and SDK is integrated and authenticated with my app in Backfrap. Now, during this week, I'll show you how to use uh, that SDK to send various types of messages in Twilio. So, I hope you follow along the series because we'll have lots of interesting things that you are going to do. So, if you like this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. Also, share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions or an implementation you'd like to see, please leave it on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. 
I hope this content is useful for you and I hope to see you back during this week because we are going to have some amazing things that I'll show you how to use with Twidio and back forever. See you soon. Bye bye.